the kick comes fast. No warning, no pinned ears, no raised tail, just one blur of motion. And you're on the ground. Ask anyone who's worked with horses long enough and they'll tell you, it's not the bites, it's not the bucks, it's the kick from behind that gets you. And the worst part, you never see it coming. It's not a sign of aggression, not always fear. Sometimes the horse is calm, still, relaxed. Then, bam, a double-barreled kick erupts like a spring-loaded trap. But why? Why would a gentle creature suddenly lash out? Today, we're diving into one of the deadliest natural reflexes in the equine world. The blind spot kick, a reaction wired deep in a horse's nervous system, a reflex so fast, it often fires before the horse even realizes what it's doing. We'll explore what triggers it, how it evolved, and why it's so dangerous. And most importantly, how to avoid being on the wrong end of it. Because the moment you step into a horse's blind spot, you're not just unseen, you're inside the danger zone. Before we show you how to stay safe, let's understand the reflex that kicks faster than fear. Let's explore with Animal Prime. A horse sees the world differently than we do, literally. With eyes positioned on the sides of its head, a horse has one of the widest fields of vision in the entire animal kingdom, nearly 350 degrees. It can see almost everything, except directly in front of its nose and directly behind its tail. Those are its blind spots. But while the front blind spot is small and easily compensated for, the one behind, that's where danger hides. Imagine being a prey animal. You've evolved for millions of years under constant threat. Wolves, big cats, even humans. You can't afford to look for threats. You need to feel them, react to them, fast. So when something enters that invisible zone behind the horse, a sudden sound, a brush of wind, a person walking too close without speaking, the horse doesn't turn around and check. It kicks, not to hurt not out of anger, but because that's what evolution designed it to do. This isn't aggression, this is survival. And the most terrifying part, the horse doesn't even know it's doing it. That's the magic and the menace of the blind spot reflex. <laughs> If you've ever stood behind a horse and noticed it shuffle or swing its tail at you, that's not just a nervous habit. It's a message. It's saying, I can't see you. I don't feel safe. Move. The danger is that many people, especially beginners, assume a calm horse is a safe horse. But safety around horses isn't about emotion. It's about instinct. You can groom them, feed them, ride them for years, and still get kicked in a split second if you enter the blind spot the wrong way. That's because the reflex doesn't go away. It doesn't age, it doesn't get trained out, it stays, waiting, ready. Just like it has for thousands of years, from the wild plains of Eurasia to the quiet stalls of your local barn. Now let's break it down anatomically. A horse's eyes are monocular, meaning each eye sees independently. That gives it a panoramic view, but little depth perception. 
So, anything directly behind it? Not only is it invisible, it's unreadable. The horse doesn't know if what's back there is safe or deadly. And because horses are flight animals, See? not fighters, their safest move isn't to investigate. It's to launch a powerful kick that can send a predator flying, or at least give the horse enough time to run. And that's where humans get caught. Because to the horse, your knee, your toolbox, your soft voice, none of that matters if you enter that zone without warning. You become a threat-shaped blur in a place it can't process. So it reacts the only way it comes out, by kicking. Let's visualize it. Draw a circle around the horse. From the tip of its nose sweeping around both sides, that's its vision zone. But draw two small wedges, one directly in front, one directly behind. That's the danger zone. If you're in that rear wedge and the horse doesn't hear, feel, or smell you clearly, you're not a person anymore. You're a possible predator. And that's how you get kicked, hard, fast, and usually without warning. There's a reason experienced handlers never walk directly behind a horse without touching it first, or speaking, or staying to the side. They respect the blind spot, because they've seen what happens when you don't. They've seen ribs broken, knees shattered, even skull fractures caused by a single unconscious twitch of survival. And in almost every case, the horse wasn't trying to hurt anyone. It was just reacting to nothing, to something, to you. That's why this next part matters so much. If you work around horses, if you ride, feed, or even film them, you need to understand the blind spot not just as a concept, but as a boundary. Not a boundary of fences or ropes, but of trust, instinct, and an ancient design. Because the horse isn't trying to be unpredictable, it's trying to stay alive. And sometimes, staying alive means kicking before thinking. especially within that blind spot zone, the signal doesn't travel all the way to the horse's brain first. It goes to the spinal cord, where it triggers an immediate motor response. Lift, extend, kick, all in one fluid motion. This is what scientists call a nociceptive withdrawal reflex. The same kind of fast reaction movement humans use when we accidentally touch something hot. We jerk back before we even feel the burn. Only afterward do we say, ouch, that's how it works for horses, too. By the time the brain realizes what's happening, the kick has already landed. And it's not just any kick. A horse's hind legs are engineered like biomechanical catapults. With enormous gluteal muscles, long bones, and flexible tendons, they can launch a kick with over 2,000 pounds of force. That's enough to break bones, shatter wood, kill a predator, or knock a full-grown human unconscious. And all of that happens without anger, without malice, without warning. Just input, reflex, impact. That's why even trained, calm horses can kick when startled. It's not about their personality. It's about their physiology. They're not bad. They're not dangerous. They're just horses. But here's where it gets more interesting. Horses are prey animals. Their survival depends on their ability to detect and respond to threats quickly. But they don't just run, 
They have a range of reflexive defenses, and the rear kick is one of the most powerful. In wild herds, if a predator approaches from behind, the first horse that senses the danger might not have time to flee. So it kicks, not to win, but to create space. That split-second reaction could be the difference between getting eaten and getting away. That instinct didn't disappear just because we put saddles on them. It still lives in every horse today, from Mustangs to show ponies. Even your gentle gelding at the stable has that same lightning reflex wired deep inside. So what triggers it? It doesn't take much. A sudden noise, a flapping jacket, a hand brushes the haunch without warning. Even a scent or subtle movement can cause a horse's startle threshold to be exceeded. And once that threshold is crossed, the reflex fires before context matters. That's why saying he's a good horse isn't protection. Even good horses kick, especially when you surprise them. And the worst part, sometimes they don't even realize they did it. Handlers have shared stories where a horse kicked someone, then turned around almost confused, as if asking, what happened? Because the reflex is that fast. The horse isn't acting out. It's not disobedience. It's a system that activates whether they want it to or not. Just like blinking, just like flinching, just much, much stronger. That's why training doesn't eliminate the kick reflex. You can reduce the chances, you can desensitize to certain stimuli, but you can't remove the reflex entirely, and you shouldn't. It's what keeps horses safe in a world of predators, in a world of chaos, even in a world of humans, traffic, fences, and cameras. It's not the reflex that's the problem. It's not knowing it's there. So how do professionals work around this? They don't fight the reflex, they respect it. They approach horses with rhythm, with presence, with voice and touch. They make sure the horse knows where they are before the horse has to guess. Because when a horse has to guess what's behind it, the safest answer is still, kick first, think later. If you've ever seen a rider get kicked while cinching the saddle, a farrier gets clipped while trimming a hoof, or a child spook a horse by running behind it. You've seen this reflex in action. It looks sudden, but it's ancient. It looks violent, but it's survival. It looks personal, but it's not. It's just biology moving faster than thought. In the final part of this video, we'll break down the real world consequences of misunderstanding the blind spot, the most common mistakes people make, and how to work with, not against, this reflex. Because when it comes to horses, reflexes don't make them dangerous. Not respecting those reflexes does. You've seen the reflex. You've felt the danger. Now let's talk about respect. Because when it comes to horses, safety doesn't begin with fear. It begins with understanding. Hey! And the blind spot, that invisible wedge behind the horse's tail, it isn't just a visual gap. It's a line between instinct and trust, between connection and collision. If you want to work safely with horses, whether you're a handler, rider, groomer, farrier, or just a curious visitor, you need to stay out of the blind spot unless the horse knows you're there. And knowing doesn't mean hearing your footsteps. It means feeling your presence. So here's how the professionals do it. They talk to the horse, even before touching it. A calm voice, a whistle, a sound. They place a hand gently on the horse's body when walking behind so it knows something's moving back there. But that something is familiar, not threatening. They move with rhythm, no hesitation. Because animals, especially prey animals, feel rhythm as intention and hesitation as uncertainty. They never sneak, never rush. Never assume a horse is too nice to kick. Because even the calmest horse 
still has a wild instinct buried beneath trust. Working safely around horses isn't just about avoiding kicks. It's about building a relationship based on mutual respect. The more predictable you are, the more confident, present, and aware, the less likely a horse is to react. Not because the reflex is gone, but because you're never mistaken for a threat. You become part of the environment, part of the herd, not the predator in the blind spot. And remember this, a horse doesn't understand your good intentions. It only understands stimulus and response. It doesn't know that you're grabbing the lead rope, not lunging, that you dropped your phone, not a rope, that you tripped, not attacked. It doesn't know you're its friend until you act like one from every direction, especially from behind. Blind spots aren't just physical, they're emotional, they're relational. Every time you respect a horse's blind spot, you're telling it, I see you, even when you can't see me. And that's what builds trust. One careful step, one slow breath, one non-kick at a time. But if you forget that lesson, if you assume too much, rush too fast, ignore the signs, then the horse doesn't just lose trust in you, it protects itself from you. That's when the reflex fires. That's when bones break. And that's when you remember, it's not a matter of if a horse will kick. It's a matter of whether you gave it a reason to. So here's your takeaway. If you work with horses, approach from the front or side, speak softly as you move. Make contact if you must pass behind. Stay aware of body language. Never enter the blind spot silently because behind the beauty, behind the stillness, behind the powerful silence of a horse, lies are an ancient reflex that only asks one thing. Let me feel safe, respect the blind spot, earn the trust, and you'll never need to fear the kick. This has been part one of our deep dive series into horse reflexes. In the next episode, we'll explore the double barrel kick. What makes it different when it's used intentionally and how it becomes a weapon of defense in both wild and domestic horses? Because if the blind spot kick is the horse's unconscious shield, then the double barrel kick, it's a sword, like what you learned. Leave a comment, share your story, or tag someone who's ever been near a horse's hindquarters and lived to tell the tale. And don't forget to subscribe to Animal Prime for more eye-opening stories from the wild, the stable, and the space in between. Until next time, stay calm, stay alert, and stay out of the blind spot.